right guys it is time to do a look i think i want to do something with red hello by the way it's been a minute uh i've just been focusing on making reels content instead of whoa i feel like i'm too close let me focus all right let's just do this because the farther out i am the easier it is for me to convert it into long form um not long form, like reels, portrait. Okay, I'm using the NYX Plump Right Back. There is no rhyme or reason for what I am doing today. <laughs> we are just playing with makeup. And I really wanted to do like a wing in red and maybe like a neutral lip, but something really like sharp and angular, a little bit different from what I've been doing. I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty brow gel and just stick these babies up real quick. You guys already know how I feel about this brow gel. I pulled a few different palettes. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing or which palette I'm gonna be using, but I did pull the Melt Gemini 2 um, I have the Unearthly High Temp, which is launching um, some point end of June or early July. I also have the Blend Bunny All Done Up palette here. So, um, like I said, I'm not really sure what direction I'm going in, but we're just we're just doing it today. <laughs> I also have some products that I picked up that are relatively new. So I got the Danessa Myrix. It says yummy skin. This is Blurring Balm Powder Low Lighter in Unbothered. I have the Luminous Silk Cheek Tint by Giorgio Armani. And then I got the Huda Faux Filter. And then I really enjoyed that Charlotte Tilbury list lipstick last time. So I picked up Pillow Talk 3 Intense. So this is what I have. So I think that'll be the lips and then we can top it off with the gloss. I pulled the Unearthly Cursed Pencil, but like I said, I have no idea. Oh, I did get the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour skin tint. I'm worried that this might be light for me, but we're just gonna go for it. I've never tried this before. I really don't know how much I should be putting on. To my understanding, it is fairly pigmented <laughs> for skin tint. And then I had three. I got a new brush. I got the Rare Beauty brush, and then I got this other one from Makeup by Mario. Today I ordered the Mario um, sculpting. It's like two new contouring products so I did grab those and I did get the Sephora like same day delivery thing so I don't know how that's gonna go if it's actually gonna show up because they are famous for canceling the items that I'm trying to get So far, I like it. It's nice and lightweight. It isn't super. Hold, please, hair, get it together. Um, I'm not having a hard time blending it. It isn't super oily or slick. In fact, it's the opposite. It's quite matte for a skin tint. I'm kind of just stippling over because I do have a bit of streaking. My skin is not the best right now, but also not the worst. I'm just in this like weird in-between place where I have some dry patches. It looks pretty good. It's a little light, but it's not like terrible. All right, I'm gonna use the Luminous Silk um, cheek tint. I don't know how I should be applying this, but just going to go 
go in here and I'm using the same brush oh it is much more pigmented than I thought and it's really pretty actually I thought it was gonna be super sheer kind of how those the Gwen Stefani one was but I feel like this is the perfect amount of pigmentation like it's not so scary that you look bruised but at the same time it's blending really nicely into the skin. It's not lifting anything. <laughs> Actually, pleasantly surprised with this one. Not that I thought it was gonna be bad, but it performs better than I thought. I'm gonna use my Milk Sculpt Stick. And I'm just going to contour a bit. and push this in. I feel like this has quite a bit of coverage in comparison to the, the bronzing stick has a lot more coverage than the skin tint, so. I'm intrigued right now. It could get scary really quick. <laughs> but I love, I've been really loving this contour stick lately. It's the perfect shade. It's blendable, but it's not super creamy that it's gonna like move around everywhere. I'm just running a bit of that onto my lids, whatever's left on the brush. And I'm gonna go back over with this blush brush and just kind of pat over this area too. I like it so far. I want to use this Tanessa Myrix. My camera decided to die on me. I don't know how much longer I have, but I want to at least show you the Tanessa Myrix Yummy Skin Highlight. I did apply some over here and I have to say it's absolutely beautiful. I'm somebody who's always looking for the perfect pink highlight. It's just so pretty. And I have this on an Unearthly 812. Our brushes will be back on the website soon, by the way, guys. It's not lifting anything. It is so romantic and pretty. I love this. It is so, so, so pretty. Oh my God, I just stuck my nail in it too. I'm a mess. Okay, I think for now, I'm just going to end that here. I'm gonna let the camera charge and I'll be right back when I have some juice. <laughs> Bye. All right guys, I have the Heather Austin Resurgence Highlight Duo here, so I'm gonna put some of that on. And I'm gonna go in with Rebirth. And I'm just gonna enhance this pink even more. It didn't really need it, but I did pull it. It's so pretty. And I'm just going to this on my brow bone as well oh, such a gorgeous highlight and then I think I'm gonna use my melt Gemini so I'm gonna go in with lovesick and this refer 03 I am just going to start building this wing over here. So I'm not going to go all the way in. I'm going to kind of stop it right here, a little bit further than the middle. So I'm going to take some under here as well, just in the outer portion.
please keep in mind too, I'm a little nervous because I have not set my face. All right, I'm going in with my Singe EO2 and I'm just going to blend. I do not have any additional product on the brush. And I think I do want to go with a shimmer on my lid. So I'm going to go into the Unearthly High Temp palette. I'm going to dye it again. But I went in with the High Temp palette and I took this red heated and I just went over that dark red a little bit. And I'm going to take the shade Muggy here and I'm going to run that on the lid a bit. And then blend it into blend it in to this wing without covering it and I'm kind of avoiding the lash line. I'm kind of going up. Whoa, my stomach is making a song for you today. And I'm gonna go back in with my resurgence. And I'm using my Sigma switch really quick. And I'm just gonna take rebirth and then apply it to the inner corner here. I'm gonna blend that into the other shimmer. And that's it. Off camera, I did go in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On in Alkaline. This is hands down my most used one. I'm gonna use the Cursed Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna go in with that Charlotte Tilbury lipstick here. I'm gonna kind of blend these two together with the lip liner. Then I'm gonna to top it off with this gloss just because I really want to try the gloss. So this is the gloss here. And that, my friends, is the finished look. Oh, I do need to put on mascara. I'm gonna do that. I'm trying this Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Mascara. I tried it yesterday. I like it. It's really easy to apply. It's not a crazy wand. It's just like this little cone shape. It did not irritate my eyes, so that was nice. running it down here as well. I am not gonna set my face because my skin is really dry right now and I honestly, if you have dry skin, I don't think you need to set this one, um, this foundation. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm going to run off before my camera dies again, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you can, please subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back to drinking coffee, I'm going to edit this video, and I'm going to keep listening to the new Billie Eilish soundtrack. Bye guys!